concentrate on them naturally, okay? A little stock shed on the tail there, you guys. So as some of you guys may already notice the huge upgrade on the video quality. Oh my goodness. So if some of you guys wants to know what camera I'm using at the moment, you guys can just shoot me a DM and I'll answer you guys there. Because in my videos, we don't talk about gadgets, guys. We talk about animals, okay? So today's video, I'm going to show you guys a new rescue which I got a few weeks back. And also going to talk more about my Sundar Spitting Cobra because I noticed in my previous video I didn't really talk much about them okay guys so I'm going to make up for that I'm going to talk more about our Sundar Spitting Cobra okay so today's video is going to be a long one a very busy one because I'm going to take you guys to what I normally do on a daily basis cleaning feeding maintenance all of those things okay and also of course I'm going to talk about awareness and conservation so you guys Sit back, relax! What is up everyone? Welcome back. So I just got back from the pet shop to get some supplies. And as promised, I'm going to take you guys to what I normally do on a daily basis. So if you guys can come here, I have two empty enclosures right here. So this one here is for my Sunda Spitting Cobra. It's for Valak. And this one is for the newcomer okay guys so i mentioned earlier that we have a newcomer to the reptile family so i'm gonna get to that in a while okay so first i'm gonna check out bala he's right here in this quarantine enclosure so i'm gonna put him uh into the dustbin for his bath time while we set up his enclosure so again safety first guys so when you're dealing with a species that can spit their venom it's always wise to have your own excuse that okay it's always wise to have your own spectacles okay so safety first always first you want you need this and also you need this guys okay so this is very very important it keeps you at a safe distance from the snake all right so let's get it on so he's all here Right? He likes to spend his days underneath all these newspapers where it feels more secure. So, I have this bin right next to me, filled up with water so it can have its bath. As you can see, this is a very, very beautiful snake. Beautiful snake. Look at this, guys. Look at this. How beautiful is this snake? Okay, so I'm gonna put him inside this bin filled with water so he can have his bath time, his own privacy because nobody likes to have people watching them shower. So this one goes right here. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is of course remove these. Remove all these things. got some wood chips right here okay guys so this works really well in retaining humidity and also keeping everything clean and hygienic okay so if they shed all of these wood chips would absorb them okay so I'm gonna start by ripping this thing off Look at that, beautiful fresh wood chips. Okay, I'm gonna go open another bag. I'm gonna open right here. Look at that. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Again, 
if you are dealing with certain types of species of snakes they require a lot more humidity and wood chips might not might not be the best option of course you may need to recommend uh, you may need to use a certain substrate that holds humidity better than wood chips but generally wood chips works fine look at that guys a few moments later and of course you will need a water bowl which in my case I use a large one you guys just stay here I'm gonna get that water bowl just stay here fresh fresh water Let's, ah, majestic fresh water guys who doesn't like fresh water as you guys know water is very very important doesn't matter if you're keeping snakes or even dogs or even cats water is a must keeps your snake fairly well hydrated and when they need to go to the toilet and you need to take a bath you can do so on their own okay guys so now that's done we have the water bowl done we have the substrate done and now all that we need is a hide box okay so I have a hide box that looks like this okay so this one is really secure it's wooden and it has these latches on so if you have a snake that is stubborn doesn't want to come out you can just open these here access the snake all right easy peasy guys easy peasy so now that that's done you guys might be wondering what does a snake why does a snake need a hide box? Okay, so snakes need hide boxes because, of course, they want to feel secure, guys. They need a place where it's it's really dark and it's tight and secure, basically, so that the snake doesn't feel that it's exposed to the elements or exposed to predators okay so next thing we need is foliage okay so foliage just to make things look natural and just prettier and aesthetic okay so if you come over here we have a lot of fake plants I want to go with this one because it looks it looks better guys it looks really good and sorry I'm sweating like a pig so I'm just going to put this thing right here Look at that, right at the edge, I'm just going to have this one, cover that up, okay. Pretty, 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 you know, it looks much, much more natural, okay. So of course, this, our snake, our newcomer snake is going to enter through here. That's the entrance of the hide box, so it's just very nice. It looks really natural. Next thing we need is branches, guys. So these snakes need a lot of exercise. Because certain snakes, when kept in captivity, don't have enough exercise. This is what's going to make everything look really natural really pretty look at that instantly pretty look at that guys so i'm going to leave you guys take a closer look inside the enclosure and while i'm going to do some other things okay so i'll catch you guys later guys so we've done the newcomers enclosure now it's time to move on to Valak's enclosure guys so 
I'm really happy because finally she's fit to be in her own enclosure because as you guys may know from my previous video she was in quarantine guys so actually she was in quarantine for about two months now so she's way off the safe limit now safe safe limit so she gets her own enclosure guys so let's get it started let's make this enclosure as pretty as the one below guys so we're also going to start by i noticed that there's some wood left over so we ain't gonna waste guys we ain't gonna waste that's done let's get this one in Rip this thing apart. Look at that. Pretty, pretty fresh wood chips. I think one bag is gonna be enough for this small enclosure. So a lot of you guys might be thinking, why do snakes need a large enclosure? So frankly speaking, there's a lot of snake keepers that I know in the hobby right now or in the reptile conservation topics they keep snakes in a really small space okay guys so the problem with snakes when they're kept in a small enclosure they don't thrive okay so there's two two words okay thriving and surviving okay so you keep a snake in a small enclosure the snake may survive but it won't thrive okay so that's the difference so it's always better to keep your snake in a large enclosure where it can roam around, where it can do its thing, like what it like like how it would act in the wild. A few moments later. The next thing we need is the water bowl. Okay, so let me get let me get the water bowl. One minute. Oh, I'm just kidding. This is for the snake guys. So a little tip for you guys that wants to keep snakes or especially venomous snakes because you want to minimize the risk okay so it's better that you keep the water bowl as close to the window as possible as close to the opening as possible this makes it easier and less dangerous for you you just need to open this door up and fill it fill it with water from the outside okay as opposed to it being on the inside you have to reach in and expose your hand okay so that's just one small tip from me. If you guys want it, you can take it. If you don't want it, then who cares? So, now that that's done, we're going to put Valak inside his new enclosure. Okay, guys? So, I'm also going to talk a little bit about Valak. Okay, guys? So, I understand that in my previous video, I didn't talk much about them. So, I'm going to talk about them. I'm going to make, make up for that. Talk a little bit about them. Okay? So, if you guys can just follow me. Valak is inside here, okay? So, as usual, specs on. Hooks here, okay. So, when dealing with venomous snakes, of course, you have to be on top of your game, guys. This thing doesn't want to have anything to do with me. Look at that. Okay guys, this is a Sunda spitting cobra. As you guys can see, it's really really fast, really really twitchy and always on the edge. What's interesting about these guys is they have actually reached the level of dangerous pests, which means their, their population is very very high guys, which poses a threat to the community and to the people of course but as you can see even though that it knows it's a very venomous snake it only wants to get away from me okay it wants nothing to do with me it's acting this way because I'm bugging it oh, look at that very pretty snake guys very pretty snake okay so the reason why these guys have reached the level of dangerous pests is because they don't have a lot of animals that predate on them naturally okay the only animals that predate on them naturally is uh, birds 
and also none other than the king cobra guys so as you guys may or may not know king cobras they predate on other snakes they are natural snake eaters okay so which means if we have little amount little low populations of king cobras naturally we will have higher populations of other snakes because we don't have the balancing power which the king cobras give us okay these guys are getting really really easy to find okay really easy to find so i'm just going to put him inside his new enclosure easy as that easy as that look at that Oh, 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 oh. Wants nothing to do with me. Oh, 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 oh. Now look at that. Immediately goes into hiding. Doesn't want anything to do with me. It's like thinking, oh, where am I now? This is such a big space. I'm not used to this. Am I still in quarantine? Well, good news for you, Vala. You are no longer in quarantine. You are free of COVID-19 and you have your own house now. So, that is as pretty, pretty. What the hell am I talking about? That is as pretty as they are, okay? They are really, really pretty animals. So, like I said, they are also a dangerous pest. Population so high, population so high due to low populations of king cobras, okay? So, you guys may have noticed that it's really, really hard. Uh, excuse me. <sighs> that is really, really hard to find a king cobra now in the wild, okay? So, king cobras, they are pushed further back into the forest okay so they have no food and they have no 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 habitat to live on okay so the only places where king cobras appear are the places where there are abundance of snakes okay so with that being said the newcomer that is with us now is a king cobra guys so without further ado let's show him let's show you guys the king cobra of course before we do that, we need to install the glass first. And get all these things away because these things might be a factor of us getting bit, okay? Like I said guys, these snakes that I'm playing with or these snakes that I have in captivity are no joke, okay? The venom on a king cobra or a Naja Sumatrana or, or a Sunda speeding cobra can kill you in less than 30 minutes, okay? Maybe 45 minutes tops, okay? But if you are allergic to the venom, you will die in probably less than 15 or 10 minutes, okay guys? So that's really no joke. That being said, please do not attempt or reenact or repeat what I do in this video. Okay, so this is a king cobra, guys. You guys can see, I'm just going to get this shit out of the way. And as you guys can see, she also went to the toilet. And if I didn't say earlier, it's a she. So, I'm just going to have you back up a little. Let's just see how it goes. Look at that, how pretty this snake is. And if you guys notice, there is a injury on its nose, guys. Look at how long this snake is. Oh, actually it has a little stuck shed on the tail there, if you guys can see. I'm just going to help it. Easy as that easy so I'm just gonna grab this camera I don't know if you guys notice 
but it has a bad case of nose rub. Look at that. So that's a really bad case of nose rub, okay guys? So I'm going to get to that in a bit. I'm just going to put her in her new enclosure, let her just settle in, and I'm going to talk how that happened, okay guys? How I tend, uh, how I came to rescue her, how that happened. So for now, we just need to get her in her new enclosure because she's in a really edgy mood. She doesn't want to be, doesn't want to be bothered. I might try to feed her after this. We have a snake defrosting right now. And if you guys did not catch what I said, they are natural snake eaters, okay? So they don't eat anything else but snakes. They might eat like some small rodents or occasionally some squirrels and everything like that. But they don't eat those animals as much as they eat snakes, okay? So they are a master of balancing the ecosystem, okay? They are really, really important in balancing the, the numbers of snakes, okay? So there, there was a study once in India shown one king cobra ate 46 vipers in one month okay guys 46 vipers in one month so imagine how many vipers there would be if we were to lose one king cobra hard questions right so right now we're going to get her in her new enclosure as you guys can see she's in a really really foul mood right now she doesn't want to be kept she doesn't want to be messed with she's, she just wants to Really, really but if you treat these guys with respect, if you treat these animals with respect, you can pretty much go along without getting bit, okay? Look at this. She's actually really, really long, guys. I think she's close to about 8 feet now. Her nose before was really, really bad bad really bad okay compared to what it is now it's really it was really bad so i'm just i i'm just going to set up a picture here so you guys can see what her face looks like before okay so immediately she's going to she went into the hide box guys no problem at all okay did not need to explore did not need to acclimatize, did not need to adapt to anything or whatsoever. She saw a hole and she took advantage. She went inside immediately. Amazing creatures, okay? So king cobras are thought to be, or still thought to be, one of the most intelligent species of snakes, okay? They are very intelligent. Between those two eyes, there is a brain thinking, with the brain capacity of really, really advanced snakes, okay? So they are not like other snakes which are lethargic and don't move as much like the ball pythons and all snakes like the king cobras they are always thinking okay even when they seem like they're running away from you actually they are still looking at you at the corner of their eye the back of their eye they're still looking at you so as soon as you try to grab them they will turn back and bite you okay so moving on I'm going to explain to you guys what actually happened to her nose okay so i got her from irresponsible keepers guys irresponsible keepers so basically what happened was the people that was having her as a pet did not dare to handle a venomous snake okay so uh pun tidak tahu okay kenapa tidak berani pegang ular tapi mau piara ular so that is a very big problem here people that don't dare to touch snakes but want to have snakes as pets okay so basically what happened i'm going to show you guys This was the enclosure that she was in for eight months without water, without food, and without substrate, without the hide box. So as I said earlier, hide boxes are really, really important for a snake's well-being. They want to feel secure, they want to feel safe. So if you don't, if you cannot provide a hide box, it's going to be really stressful for the snakes, guys. So not only that, not only that, okay, so we cannot even see a single door, 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 okay, door, pintu, guys, tidak pintu langsung, alright, so if there's no door, how the hell are you going to, are you supposed to clean, do maintenance, 
or fill some water or even feed the snake. You can't, okay? So, no, I'm not lying. The shit was up to here, okay? We had to, me and my girlfriend actually, we had to clean up the shit that was this tall, okay? It was, if I'm not mistaken, until here. The this, this shit was until here, guys. And if you can see all the stuck shit right there, it has been there since the day that I got her. Okay, so I purposely did not clean this enclosure. I wanted to show you guys how bad, how bad she was, how bad of a condition she was living in. So again, another another problem with this enclosure. Not that it, not only that it doesn't have a door, but they used metal wiring. Okay, metal mesh. So this metal mesh might be the perfect, perfect. Um, alternative for keeping chickens or keeping keeping cats or keeping dogs but if you're keeping snakes this is the worst one to go with because what happens most of the time is when the snake doesn't have a hide box doesn't have any food doesn't have any water the snake wants to get away it wants to escape so it's going to rub its face all over this hard metal mesh okay so that's what happened to her nose she was rubbing for a for a few months Till the scales on her nose came came off, so it was really bad. It actually had an infection, so I had to treat it with antibiotics, antibiotics and ointments and all of those things twice a week, uh, twice a day. Sorry, so it was really tiring for me, but very very rewarding because I've seen her getting better. And after a shed, it looks really really nice. So after a few more sheds, I would say that she would look better. Okay, so a big no no. This is not how you keep a snake, guys. Okay. So now that Vala is in her enclosure, is in her enclosure, and our king cobra is also in her enclosure, which we decided to name her Cleo. Okay. So Cleo is in her new enclosure. So I'm going to try to feed her, guys. So it's going to be interesting for you guys that don't even know that other snakes predate on other snakes. So. Fingers crossed, she's going to accept the food. So, I have... I have... A snake here, defrosted, okay guys? This snake, of course, I did not kill it. This snake died of natural causes, which we are unaware of. So, I thought to myself, why not save this snake, def uh, freeze it, and give it to, to Cleo, okay? So, I really hope that Cleo takes it, okay? So, I'm just going to go like this. Okay. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Okay, guys, Cleo just grabbed hold of the snake. She's biting really hard on it. She's not letting go. Look at that, guys. Cleo is biting really hard. Doesn't want to let its prey item go. This is her first meal since she shed last night. Look at that. How often can you see a snake eating a snake? and a king cobra at that. Look at that, guys. Really, really powerful muscles behind the jaw. That's what they use to latch on their prey. No matter how big, how strong their prey is, they can latch on, okay, guys? So these snakes, the king cobras, they prey on reticulated pythons as well. So reticulated pythons are the second longest snake in the world, guys. Sorry everyone, what I meant to say was that reticulated pythons are the third largest snake in the world behind the green anaconda sitting on number one and the Burmese python on second place. But in terms of length, the reticulated python sits on top of the throne, regularly reaching over six and a half meters in length. Okay, let's get it on with the video. So imagine if this snake can make a meal out of a reticulated python, imagine what it would do to this deceased deceased spitting cobra guys so i'm just gonna let her finish i'm going to let her do her thing while we do a little cleanup and when she starts to swallow it 
we're going to get some good footage for you guys. Thank you and I'm going to see you guys later. today's video guys so if you guys like this video just consider subscribing and liking this video share it around with your friends that still has a fear of snakes so again I'm going to press this really hard on you guys snakes don't want anything to do with humans okay they don't have any benefits at all they don't hunt humans like many of you believe okay guys so these snakes specifically the king cobras they are very important in keeping the ecosystem balanced okay so they eat snakes okay guys so if you kill king cobras it only means more snakes in your backyards so if you want less snakes in your backyards keep the king cobras guys fight for the conservation fight for awareness okay so again see you guys in the next video